So, um, let's go over exactly what I did. So, this is the PM that I sent right here. Mumble, overwear, crosshairs, opinions, thoughts, question mark. I've sent this PM to both of you, Arctic and Jeff Wolf, with an inquiry on where you stand on utilizing third-party systems to establish custom crosshairs in-game. I was thinking of making a large public post on the subject to spark debate, but this kind of thing has a history of potentially exploding with both good and bad debate. Many players, including myself, really want to see choices of crosshair put into the game. So I asked the question on my stream last night, is there any way to utilize overlays from something to render a crosshair on screen? I was given many different options, and these are all the links, all this stuff. And basically I go on, I elaborate, you know, what I want, and then I go over what I was given as solutions, which was mainly from Siku, who found this particular link right here. And I'm going to go ahead and throw this up right there. And um, I've never heard an approach like that, it turns out some small efforts, blah 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 blah. Right here is my justification for why this would actually be a good feature as an official thing, you know. I assume in the future... Official crosshair support would always be much more desirable, but um, you know, the image would have managed to accomplish. This is my crosshair, by the way, right there. You can kind of get a look at it. I think you can see it in game now. Let's we'll take a real quick look. Load out. See that? Do you see it? Yeah, you do see it right there. So you can see that my crosshair does, in fact, work. The insert key can turn it on and off. I would actually always rather have my mumble overlay off to begin with anyway, but eh, if I want a crosshair for this game, gotta have it up. So that's that, and this is the response from Jeffawap. Now, you know, the main thing here is that his technical corrective stance is that third party overlays of any kind are generally not supported by us. Not supported does not necessarily mean illegal, okay? and can potentially result in an anti-cheat red flag as they start affecting certain parts of the game. Again, this is why it is at your peril to use these kind of setups. My mumble thing was not caught, and he says, I've heard quite a few folks using mumble overlays to customize their crosshairs, and I have not seen any red flags resulting from its use, so you should be fine. I just checked on your account, and you have zero red flags, so I should think it should be okay. I personally don't have a problem with you sharing the information, but you may want to add a savat that any modification made to the game client above and beyond a simple custom crosshair may result in account closure, in case anyone gets the urge to experiment with using overlays to cheat. And he gives me a little wink face. Now, with that said, you know, you can count this as an actual response from a developer. It is basically giving you the okay to utilize an overlay crosshair, and that is it. And this is from Up Loadout Support, mainly the anti-cheat guy and his technical director. So, you know, that is what you have. That's the information you get from the devs, and that's that. So, you know, basically from there... Uh, basically from there we're gonna go ahead and go over how you install it itself. It's pretty straightforward, it's important you follow the reason. First off, you're gonna download this thing right here, right click on it. As far as I know, no malicious software, and you can already see that it's open in the bottom right here. This is what you're gonna have inside of the RAR file, alright? You got a whole bunch of different crosshairs. I mean, I'm not actually gonna look at all of them. Wait, I think I have them right here. So you can take a quick look at them. Oh, had a little quitty crosshair. But those are your crosshairs. Now, I went ahead and drew my own up, so you don't really need to worry about that in particular. And from here, you basically copy these three things. By the way, read the readme. <coughs> you have to follow these steps to the letter of the law. So I would recommend that you read the readme. It is pretty self-explanatory, but we're going to go ahead and go over it from anyway. You're going to put this mumble overlay, this thing right here, DDL modifications. Now you might be like, whoa, DDL modifications, those could be serious. They could be, somehow. I made a backup of mine. You can see it right there. You know, you just drag and drop this over here, and it will overwrite that DDL. Mine's already overwhipping. This is the backup, you know, obviously, because dash backup.ddl, just in case something awful did happen. I stored, I don't know why I made this cross here thing, because I didn't know what I was doing. The second step, once you have this installed, okay, follow the readme, and then you need to, this is an important step, you have to put your crosshair in here, in the uh, C program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, loadout, base directory, okay? This basically allows the, I guess the DDL filters by game somehow, some way, I don't know why, but you have to put this in here for it to find out what crosshair you're using for this particular game. 
I mean, because of DDL redirecting, I have no idea. The next thing that you want to make sure that you do is um, we're going to be going here, not to tools, all games. Hi, I have a lot of games. But um, you need to go to your launch options, in-game, properties, set launch options, dash DX11, colon, zero. Now this makes Mumble able to put the overlay in game because it doesn't work with DX11 enabled. And from there, once you put this crosshair.png in there, you can design whatever crosshair you want. You just save it as a .png file. And um, I don't think there's anything else I need to uh, set up. And I think that's that. Is there any questions? I don't know how to say it. I just said survive. How do you screenshot personal messages in Twitch? Anyway, that's that. And um, yeah, questions line up. Anybody have any questions about how to do this? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, you need to enable your mumble overlay. So settings, overlay, and check this box right here. And then hit apply. And you can do all the other stuff. I don't even care about the rest of it. But basically that's how you set up a custom crosshair. And you can have nice stuff like that. DX, yeah, the, um, I'll make a big write up about it eventually too. So in case you weren't able to read it, because I know that my uh, resolution's not the greatest. Hey, Chrissy, you gonna know, scrim later? Maybe. But uh, your launch options is, oh yeah, see, stream so helpful, thank you. And uh, I guess if something does come up because of this and you don't use Bumble, I would suggest you do it just by these way. Unless for some reason you are a courageous man. Go ahead and shut that off. If you are a courageous man and you want to try making your own overly crossing, you can feel free to try it out. But I am not responsible, and nor should I be held responsible, for any problems, actions, or things that can result from misuse, misunderstandings, or other things for some particular reason. I am not liable for any of your mistakes. Please remember that. I didn't tell you to do it, I just showed you how. Okay? Remember that. But um, that basically concludes this. I don't think there was any important questions to ask here. Well, does that work for everyone? <laughs> Anyone can message the dev team. <laughs> I'm, I'm all over like crosshairs. DX9 too buggy for me. That's a bummer. Can you type the launch here? All right, well, that's that's that. Custom crosshairs. I'll be making a write-up eventually on this. So in case you missed this or something, missed how I uh, went over how to install the crosshairs, there's a readme on the download link, and it is the tribes right here. Just kind of make sure you read it out. Well, I also read off my personal message because, you know, I re it was very general, it was very accurate, and it was nothing in, you know, there was no personal information conveyed other than one developer's opinion on the crosshairs itself, and that it's not flagged by their anti-cheat. So, you know, that is essentially all there is to know from it. Now, what I would rather encourage is when I make this post is that the devs eventually put in their own custom crosshair things because using overlays sucks. I mean, they cost you FPS, they cost you CPU cycles, and I'm always OCD about using this kind of stuff anyway, and I'd rather have the option to just... Oh yeah, by the way, the uh, hit marker is completely off-centered. You're gonna get drove driven insane if you look at that some more. Kinda look at me shooting these guys. You see that red square? Not even centered with my crosshair. Oof. So scary. So bad. <laughs> 